All right, we're gonna make this open heart. Here's one that's already finished. It's two pieces that we sew together. So I already made one. And what I use is wildfire, or you could use any beading, soft beading wire. Two needles. I use three millimeter beads and four millimeter beads. So we start with four four millimeter beads on a string. So you put the first three down, you take the fourth one, and then you take your right and you cross over that last four millimeter beads. And then what you do is to center that bead is you take the two ends together and you pull that down. And there you go. That's how you start. It's quite simple. Okay, so what we're going to do first is you're going to take one four millimeter bead on your left string, bring that down. You take one three millimeter bead and you bring that down on your right string. Then you take on your left string another four millimeter bead and then you cross through that bead and then you bring that down. And we are going to repeat this step five more times. There we go, that's the first one. So now we're gonna do it five more times. So you bring one four millimeter on your left, bring it down, one three millimeter on your right, bring it down, one four millimeter on your left, and then you cross through that bead. And then you bring that down. Let's try that again, because we have it now four more times. So we take one four millimeter bead on your left string, bring it down, one three millimeter bead on your right string, you bring that down, one four millimeter bead on your left string, cross through with your right string. Bring that down, three more times. One four millimeter on your left string, so I can find the hole, there we go. One three millimeter bead on your right string, bring that down, take a four millimeter bead on your left string, and then you cross through that bead. And sometimes it gets tangled, but that's okay. And I want you to notice the position, which is the right and the left. The right side, the three millimeter beads are on the right side, facing the right side. Sometimes um, this happens to me where I pull too tight and then the string comes out of the needle. It's a little frustrating, but it's all part of beading. You do one four millimeter on your left, let it drop. One three millimeter on your right, let it drop. One four millimeter on your left. <clears throat> and then you cross through that last bead. Bring that down. And again, I got tangled. Sometimes the string gets a little stubborn. Okay, just have a little patience. There we go. Tighten it up nice. Okay. Now we're going to count. One, two, three, four, five. So we have five. We have to do it one more time. One four millimeter on my left. I do another four millimeter on my left. One on my right. I was getting a little fancy there. One on the left. Cross through it. So that's the last. That's the last time we're doing that. Now we're going to push the three millimeter so, uh, beads aside. So we're going to use that for the other side. So now we're just going to use the four millimeter beads. And we're only going to do this step a few times. So we're going to take one four millimeter on the left, one four millimeter on your right. Let them both drop down. Take one four millimeter on the left, and then you're going to cross right there. Okay, and we're going to take another four millimeter on your left string, one four millimeter on the right string. Well, 
left first, and then the right, and then you're going to cross through it. Now on the last one that we're doing, we're going to, we're going to cross through the right side. So the, first you continue to do one four millimeter on your left, bring that down, one four millimeter on your left, again, bring that down. Then you're going to take one four millimeter on your right string, and then you can take your left and you're going to cross through the right, because now you're going to make a turn. You'll see how it turns because now you're going to start working on the the other side of the heart see that's one half and now you're going to go up and do the other half okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take one four millimeter on your left bring it down you're going to take one four millimeter on your right bring it down one on your left again and then cross through that left bead. Okay, then you're going to go ahead, do that again. One on your left, one on your right, one on your left, and then cross through. Okay, now we're going to bring those three millimeters back. So now we're going to work on the other side. You take, we're going to repeat the steps from the beginning. We take one four millimeter on your left, one three millimeter on your right, let them drop down. Take one four millimeter on your left, and then you're going to cross over. And then you're going to repeat that step. So you have six three millimeters on the inside. So one on the left, one on the right. One on the left, cross through. One four millimeter on your left. One three millimeter on your right. Let them drop. One four millimeter on your left. Cross through. One four millimeter on your left, one three millimeter on your right, one four millimeter on your left. Let them drop down and then you just cross over the, the last one like we've been doing. And I'm going to give you the instructions so that you could just do this on your own one four millimeter on your left, one three millimeter on your right, one four millimeter on your left, cross over. And now this last step is a little different. We'll show you how to do this. Last step. You're going to take one four millimeter. So you, you need to connect it. So See the top right there? That's the bead we need to connect. So what we're going to do is we're going to take only one four millimeter on the left and the last three millimeter on the right. You're going to take your right thread and you're going to go through that top bead. I'm going to show you right there. Okay, the top bead. You're going to take your right thread and you're going to go straight through and then you're going to take your left thread and you're going to crisscross it. So take that and then you're going to go opposite, crisscross, like this. And then pull it and there you go. How simple was that? Now you have to do this again. So basically what I do is I like to, um, I tie it off and then I glue it to make sure it's secure. So I just go through the next bead and I bring it up through there. And then I take the other thread, I go through that bead until the, the threads meet. See how they, they kind of meet there, they crisscross. So I just do um, first a single knot and then I do a surgical knot. And 
and here we go tighten it nice and then I put a little dab of glue but first I, I hide the string I just go through either one Okay, and then I just put a little bit of my hypo cement on there, a little dab. And that's it. And then I, I cut, I cut the strings, I let that dry, and I go ahead and I work on the second heart. And then I'll show you how to sew it up when we come back. So I take my two pieces and I match them up like that. See that? They're, now we're going to sew up the bead with the remain the remaining. Uh, the remaining, can't even speak today, three millimeter beads. So you're going to take about an arm's length of the fire line. And the way I did this, I haven't made this heart in a while, so I kind of did it a little bit backwards. It's easier when you sew through the inside first. But for this video, I sewed on the outside first. Um, I'm going to have to do another video later to show you how to sew on the inside first. But you see how you kind of just put them together? You put the str I'm trying to line up the strings. So you put the strings together and then you take a three millimeter bead, bring it down a little bit, and then you crisscross. And when you pull the strings together like when you pull them like that watch how it kind of attaches them and you pretty much do that throughout the entire outside and then the inside so I'm going to show you how I did half so you just kind of go up the next bead go up the next bead like so on each, with each string like that and then you take another bead and then you crisscross it and this is called zipping up your bead that's what they mean by zipping it up so it kind of pulls them together really nicely see how that's pretty neat and then you just take your you know your needle and you just continue up the bead so you just go up the next one with that side and then on the left side same thing go up the left side of the heart like so and then you put another bead to crisscross I was trying to see if I could do it all with one hand it was a little hard to do so Yeah, you, you really have to put the piece down because if you don't put the piece down and do the crisscross and then zip it up, you see what happens. It gets a little tangled. But see how it's very simple. Zipping up the outside is very, very easy. It's just the inside is really frustrating. So it gets a little hard. Um, so as long as you get the idea of what you do to zip up the bead, it's kind of like you're just putting it, you're sewing them together. So that this is the part that takes the longest because as you saw the it didn't take long at all to actually make the hearts. It's the zipping the two pieces together that takes the longest. So I'll do it a few more times and then 
I'll leave it to you. That's it for now. Leave a comment. Let me know how it yours turned out.